Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick tutorial. Now I'm going to be starting a new series where I dedicate a video to each widget that is used in Flutter. Kind of similar to widget of the week, but I'll probably be doing this daily. So I guess it's more like, I don't know, widget of the day or something. So the first widget I'm going to show you today is appropriately going to be the container widget. So forgive me if you already have this knowledge, but I have a very meticulous personality. So I want to start from the most basic widget and progressively move on to more complex widgets. Of course, I'm open to any feedback. So let me know if you have any critiques or suggestions. But other than that, let's get started. So right here, I've just got a blank scaffold with nothing in it. So in the body, if I just give it a container, I can illustrate a couple of things you can do with this container. So let's give a height of 20, width of 20, and let's give it a color. Now it looks like it's very small in the corner, so let's make it 200. And you can wrap this container in a center widget to bring it to the middle. Now, in a container, the height, width, and the color is probably the most basic properties that you could specify. But if we take a step further, you can add some decoration to it. And in this decoration, uh, one thing I will show you is, say, for example, the border radius is something I use a lot. So border radius.circular basically makes the corners not so sharp. This is something that you'll run into a lot. If you actually have a decoration, you have to specify the color inside the decoration. That's what the error is saying. And yep, so the border radius, if I change it to say 30, the corners become much more rounder, which you'll see in a lot of your apps. Another thing you can specify in the decoration is the shape. So you can just specify it to be a circle. That's also very useful. Now also, if I get rid of the color, you can specify a border. So we specified a border radius, but the border itself, say like, let's just give it a black border. You can specify a lot of things about this. So for example, like the width of the border, you can specify. You can hover, hover over it and it says it's accepting a double. Currently it's one. So if I say like two, then it's going to be thicker, five, much more thicker and so on. So a lot of things you can play around with here. So let's not make it a circle. Let's just make it a round rectangle. And everything in Flutter is a widget. So what that means is each widget will have a child that you can specify. And I'm just gonna put a basic text widget. And you can see that the hello is in the top left corner by default. So there's a couple of things that we can specify to position our child. So if you look under the container, there's this padding option. And if I add a padding, say like 20, then you can see it spaces out 20 for the child. And you can see it, adds padding around the child hello so it's not just stuck to the corner. That's one way you can position things. Another thing is you can just wrap the text widget with a center, then it will just center the whole thing. But if you wanna go even more specific, you can specify this alignment. So if I just make this um, container just a bit bigger and let's just make this hello a little bit bigger as well so that you guys can see properly. So you can use this alignment to be very specific about how you wanna do it. So there's these options bottom right, center left, etc. But you can also specify a particular value. So you can see here in the alignment, it accepts two double values for an X and Y coordinate. And so for example, negative one, negative one is in the top left corner. And so the way these alignment works is in the horizontal axis, it goes from negative one to the left to positive one on the right. And same with the vertical axis, negative one on the top and positive one on the bottom. So just to illustrate this, negative one, negative one is in the top left. If I change the Y coordinate to one, it'll bring it down to the bottom. And if I change the X coordinate to one, it'll be on the bottom right. So to complete the picture, if you were to have say zero, zero, that's just right in the middle. So because these are double values, you can be more specific than these generic options. So most of the times, right, like you were just use bottom center or top left top right like these worded options should be good enough but if you want to get really specific like when i make some games or or when you have like a particular design you can specify a double value to place exactly where you want this child to be cool now the last thing i want to show you about this container that you can do is you can add some uh, decoration and in the shadows looks like the box shadow just requires a list i'm just going to copy in a couple of shadows that i've shown previously for a new morphic design just to illustrate how easy it is to make good looking and aesthetic designs so i just have these two box shadows which you can 
you know you can take your time to to look at each option and what they're doing but basically i'm just adding shadows to each corners so if i just save this it's going to look a little weird because i should i should give the container some colors so the container let's just make it gray same as the background i'm going to make it gray and whoop, you're going to run into this problem a lot the color you should specify in the decoration and you get this kind of nice new morphic design so the sort of soft ui that first shadow is a gray so that's on the bottom right hand side and i've got a white shadow on the top left so it kind of has this effect of a light shining from the top left corner this design is called Neomorphism, which I love. And yeah, you can just play around. There's a lot of things that you can do with a basic container. And I would say a container is the most fundamental widget that there is in Flutter. Cool, so that's basically what a container is. And as I mentioned earlier, you're most likely gonna be using containers all throughout your Flutter projects because it's just such a fundamental widget to use. So let me know if this was of some small help for anyone, especially beginners out there. And stay tuned because I'm going to be going through all the widgets and dedicated video to each one so that we can master the fundamentals of Flutter. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!